Hey, you didn't see that. One Piece episode 543. Now two words will probably describe how I feel about this episode. Manly tears. Alright, so basically this episode for the most part was the Sun Pirates delivering Koala to her family finally after it's been a while that she's been on the ship. She's gotten really attached to them and we see the bond that they created and it was something really special. And I'm just really glad to be back with One Piece because already two weeks in a row it's been back to back where, oh, there's a break, back to episode, break, back to episode. So I'm just happy to see this and it was really a sad one to be honest with you people i was just like oh man i know where this is going you know because i read the manga and I, I was just wishing for a different outcome the entire time i was watching the episode in my opinion fisher tiger will definitely be one of my all-time one piece characters that i respect and understand what he did because all of his actions was really leading an entire race an entire culture entire everything of fishmen that have experienced prejudice you know for their whole lives and he was just trying to you know break the barriers it was just really a very sad outcome now basically when they deliver koala to a family there's already a setup one of the rear admiral strawberry is there waiting and they basically attack the sun pirates and in the end as you may know if you've seen the episode basically fisher tiger is gunned down and he's basically like all bloody and destroyed but they manage to recover him and take a navy ship and keep cruising he needs a blood transfusion and rather than use that he rather die because all it is is human blood that matches him right there that shows a very prideful person and i love that in this character fisher tiger you know he had a lot of pride and he kept the bottle up inside he constantly held this face of humans aren't that bad and you know just trying to save face for his crew and that's something very special because as much hatred as he's had because he revealed in this episode that basically he was captured and was a slave for a while and this is why he had this thing against humans and to be honest with you, I kind of feel like he should have lied. And particularly in front of Arlong because then we know what Arlong goes on to do. And to be honest with you, this is completely not justified, but I understand everything that Arlong did afterwards. I mean, if somebody very close to me like Fisher Tiger died, you know, in front of Arlong, and if it was me, I probably would have had that amount of hatred. Not saying I'm going to have slave or anything like that. I'm just saying that I would have been a very hateful person as well. Think about it. He was just, you know, not really opening up to the idea of being with humans, but Arlong was just, you know, you could see that there was possibilities for a change. And Fisher Tiger's death threw all of that out the window. As we know, he becomes this incredible, disgusting animal, enslaving Nami and her people and doing several other disgusting deeds. I really felt like heart-wrenching when I saw saw Jinbei and Arlong and particularly crying because of Fisher Tiger's death. It, it just really got to me. I thought it was just, you know, these are manly tears that I shed. Something very prideful, very personal, and something very special. And One Piece episode 543 definitely displayed that. Once again, you don't need the main characters for this show, One Piece, to make this series very, you know, entertaining. Because again, I was watching and I was like, it's over. No, I'm, I'm loving this. Why is it over? So yeah, definitely One Piece episode 543 was truly... An artful masterpiece, something very special. Manly tears will be shed indeed. You should just look forward to it because it was all around good episode. So how about some Straw Hat screen time finally? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the Straw Hats eventually, but I do think we're still going to have a little bit more flashback with Orohime in the next upcoming episode. So sit tight if you're really, really anxious to see, you know, the Straw Hats and everything because we still got a bit of the flashback to go. I, I'm thinking the flashback is going really good, to be honest with you. Very well paced in the anime and, you know, everything, the music and the voice actors and everything and just making this flashback that much more awesome. Let me know what you thought of One Piece 543. Did you cry? Did you shed a manly tear for Fisher Tiger and the Sun Pirates and, you know, this entire situation? Let me know in the comment section below or with a video response. Give me your thoughts on One Piece episode 543. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for this very sad episode because it definitely was something, a tear wrencher. I'm for Neville World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.